So you want to use Twitter Bootstrap on a project. First thing we need to do is go to their website, which is getbootstrap.com. And like any good plugin or add-on or framework or library, they should have some really good documentation and some really easy way to get started. Their second link right here is get started, so we're just going to click on that. And we're left with two options. We can download Bootstrap or we can use the Bootstrap CDN. So the difference is if we were to download Bootstrap, walk you through the whole process, download it, open up the zip, we have the CSS all in here, we have the JS all in here. Now again, these are the same files, bootstrap.js and bootstrap.min.js. .min is just, uh, has no spaces in it, so it's much more readable uh, for the computer basically. You definitely do not want to use .min if you plan on making changes in there. And it's the same thing for CSS as well. We have bootstrap.css and bootstrap.min.css. So just to show you real quick when we inspect these files, this one is 123 kilobytes. This one is 147 kilobytes. So there's not a massive difference, but a lot of times, you know, developers are trying to get every single little inch that they possibly can so that the page loads just that much faster. So you're just trying to squeeze your files down as much as you possibly can. Now, if I'm going to include this, I'm just going to drop this down open up my test file, the one I'm going to be working with, and I could simply just drag in either one of them. That way, when I pull this up in Sublime Text, I have my index page. I can simply just link CSS. I can just link right to it. So that's one way of going about doing it, and I have it here. And it's a really safe way because I'm always going to have it in my files. I have it downloaded. But an alternate way would be to copy and paste the links from the CDN. Now, if we look carefully at this, the first one is bootstrap.min.css, so it's the minified version. And this is their CSS. The second one is bootstrap dash theme dot min dot CSS. So this is actually a bootstrap theme that you can include in there as well. So it'll style some of your elements already. And the last one is bootstrap dot min dot JS. So we have JavaScript, we have CSS, and we have a theme already that will style a lot of your elements. So I'm just going to stick with the downloaded version. It's just a lot safer, uh, you know, going forward when you publish things online and you're actually hosting your files. It's just a much safer bet. So I would definitely recommend downloading the files. When you're testing them though, feel free just to go in here and just copy this entire thing. You know, when you're testing, just copy the links, get it done as quickly as you possibly can. And then if you decide to move forward and host it, then you definitely want to download it and make sure that those files are stored in there so that if for whatever reason, the CDN or the servers go down, you will always have your site 100% working. And that's how easy it is to include Bootstrap.